you ready guys to see the roots of this ficus elastica propagation hello everyone welcome back to my channel for today we will be propagating a ficus elastica variegata or what we commonly call as the rubber tree I love this plant because of its gorgeous variegation in the leaves, plus it's not so difficult to care for. I've got this more than a year ago and she has grown twice as her original height. Let me show you the picture when I first got her and look at her now. She's grown so much. I'm just making sure that she get much indirect sunlight when it comes to watering i'm letting the soil dry before the next water schedule because overwatered rubber tree will cause browning of the leaves especially on the edges and later on they will start to fall so for today we will be propagating through leaves cutting you have to cut the base of the leaf nearest to the stem and make sure to cut it clean. As usual, we will be trying it both in water and in soil. Just put the leaves directly on the propagating vessel and then wait till the roots appeared and it's very important to change the water once a week to prevent rotting and if you are propagating directly to the soil water it once in a while and make sure not to overwater it So guys, here is the result of our propagation after 4 months of waiting. You can see the roots are very well formed. Ayan. And this is our soil method propagation. They are also doing good. Both water and soil propagation are successful, I can say. But let's take a look at the root formation for both methods. So let's check. You ready guys to see the roots of this ficus elastica propagation? This is four months. Whoa! See these roots, guys. I just wanted to check if how much roots they develop in four months using the soil method because for the water we can see it properly, but for the soil I wanted to show it to you guys. There she is. I always try the two methods when I'm propagating my plants, both in water and in soil, to see if which one is more effective and which one will develop the roots faster. I can separate them actually. Maybe the roots will be damaged. So I will just leave it as it is and then plant it again. Put it back to the soil again. So now let's put them back in the soil so they can grow like this one.
And here they are. We got three new baby Ficos Elastica Variegata. I'll keep you posted guys regarding the development of these three new babies. You can follow me on my social media account for updates. And if you still haven't, please click that subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you will be updated whenever I'm posting new video. Thank you for watching guys. Keep safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!